Today I'm going to talk about relationships, what are the causes of conflict and how can you overcome the challenges in relationships to make them more functional. Uh, the first point of course is let us understand that the most of the conflicts in relationships happen because of differences in perception and the differences in perceptions and expectations from each other is the root cause of people feeling hurt, pained and angry in relationships. This difference also comes from largely our own subconscious or unconscious files that we have accumulated over the years. So all our past experiences are the ones that guide our belief systems, worldviews, projections and perceptions about ourselves and others. And this has a huge role to play in how you approach a relationship. Let me share 10 points you can keep in mind to keep your relationships functional. The first point is giving space to your partner. It is very important to not control, fix and constantly be in charge of your partner's life and daily routines. It is important to give space to your partner to allow them to be who he or she is versus you making it your agenda to fix the person. The second is do not lose your own personal identity in the relationship. Make sure that you are very clear about who you are, what you stand and bring in, uh, stand for and bring in your relationship and do not lose it just because you are in a relationship with the other person. The third point is do not expect your partner to fulfill all your needs. Do not expect your partner to be the best husband, the best father, the best son-in-law, the best uh, gym buddy, uh, the best provider, but make sure that you keep your expectations very reasonable. Fourth, please try to avoid other people's interferences in your relationship. Avoid other people interfering in your conflicts and challenges as far as possible. Only the two of you should sit and discuss your problems and resolve it. The more people are involved, there is more drama and there is very rarely any solution out of it. The fifth is, uh, if you are carrying a huge trauma baggage from your childhood, then that would be uh, affecting your relationship, whether it is your past fears, your perceptions or your own ideas and beliefs about marriage, relationship or spouse. So if you are carrying a history of trauma, please take help, please resolve it but because that is bound to impact your unconscious reactions and behaviors in your relationship. Sixth, find common goals with your partner. There may be differences but there will always be two or three things that you like to do together, that you enjoy doing together. So please find those things that are common that you can do together and focus on doing that together. Seven, stop comparing your relationship with others. Relationship, what you see on social media, what is shown outside in the world may not be the real picture. So avoid comparing your partner or your relationship with others. Otherwise, it will only lead you to a constant sense of dissatisfaction and negativity versus being grateful and happy for what you have. Eighth, focus on self-work, focus on constantly improving and working on yourself, whether it is spiritually, intellectually, or working on your hobbies, your passions, or your pursuits. Do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on your self-work. Nine, try to approach all the conflicts in your relationship with a problem-solving approach versus seeing yourself as a victim or versus blaming and criticizing the other person. A problem-solving mindset will only help you to resolve the issues, but a victim mindset is only going to make you blame and shame the other person and you will get no results out of that conflict or that challenge. So have a problem-solving approach and for this, uh, the tenth point is use I language versus you language. So always try to communicate if there is a problem that you're not comfortable with, please make it about yourself versus saying you are like that, you are like that, and you did not do this or that. The moment you use you language, the other person starts becoming very defensive and is completely closed to any sort of uh, solution. If you use I language, then you make the other person more open to discussing solutions. So I would like to end by saying keep these 10 points in mind in order to make your relationships functional. Stay in balance and work on yourself if you have any mental health issues. Stay safe, stay happy.